Hey guys, Jay here with another multicast tech tip. And today we're actually talking about a newer product. This is the Meraki MT-10 temperature and humidity sensor. Um, I know environmental monitoring isn't particularly exciting, but it's something we all have to do in our data centers and network closets, right? Uh, and there's a lot of ways to do it. Most of them are painful, but these Meraki sensors actually make it a lot easier than any other way I've done it in the past. Um, one thing I really like about it it comes with two AA batteries. Um, battery power is an awesome option for this. And I say that because one, it gives you the flexibility to put this thing anywhere, right? I'm not constrained by um, having AC power or cords or anything. But two, the battery life is really long on this thing. Uh, we expect up to five years with those two AA batteries. So that's, that's pretty incredible. Now, if you do want a more permanent solution, there is a USB-C port on the bottom. You can hook it up to AC power. So that is an option as well. From a connectivity standpoint, uh, this runs um, with BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy, not Wi-Fi. Um, so you do need either a newer Meraki Wi-Fi 6 capable app. This is a MR36 I keep around for lab purposes. Or the new Meraki MV cameras, the second gens, also support BLE. So this guy can uh, phone back home to those. Um, from a mounting perspective, you get this little mounting bracket here. Doesn't look that exciting. There's a couple screw holes so you can mount it to plywood backing or sheetrock or whatever you got in your data closet. But one thing that I thought was really cool is it also comes with this little magnetic piece. So you could also stick it to the side of your network rack. Um, I love that because I want my sensors to be as close to my gear as possible. And mounting something with screws to a network rack like this, that's an odd shape, is usually a challenge. So I think that magnetic option is uh, really neat. I'll show you what this looks like in the dashboard. Um, I would walk you through what the setup was, but since it's BLE, there isn't any setup. I mean, I put the batteries in, I claimed the serial number in my dashboard like I would any other Meraki device. And as soon as I got it within range of my AP, it just connected up. It was seamless. It was the easiest temp sensor I've ever set up in my life. Um, as you can imagine, drilling into the sensors here, the sort of data we're going to get, right? Current temp, I've got our timeline set to the last day. So we see historical data for the last day. Uh, as you can see here, we're in the middle of an Arctic plunge in Kansas. Um, so it's been pretty chilly in my office without the space heater going. Um, but still, you know, cool to get that historical data. Um, one other thing I really like to talk about is the sensor itself will hold onboard historical data up to five days. So, for example, since this is a lab AP for me, I take it offline fairly frequently. I just don't need it up all the time. But the sensor will sit here and continue to record temp and humidity data even while the wireless is off and it's not reporting it to the dashboard, right? And then as soon as it's back on the network, it'll automatically upload all that historical data. This looks like one seamless line over the last week, even though this thing has been on and off net multiple times. Kind of a neat little feature. Um, you know, if you ever have a network outage, it can still be nice to know what those environmentals were during that time frame. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, if we're talking about environmental sensors, what's the first thing I probably want to do once I get an environmental sensor in? I want to set up alerts for it, right? If it gets too hot in my data center, I want to know about it, or the humidity gets too high or too low or whatever the case is. Of course, you can come in here, you can set thresholds, and uh, once we cross those alert thresholds, you can have it send out emails, send out SMS to your phone number. We can do webhooks out to like, third party monitoring tools. Um, but one of the things that I thought was the neatest is that we can also integrate with the Meraki mobile application. I'll pull up my iPhone screen here. I just test fired that alert. You can see the push notification came right into my iPhone, popped up right here on my lock screen. And if I click on that notification, I can drill right into the info on that sensor. So most of that same data that we were seeing in the dashboard, we were also seeing here in the Meraki app. You also see that that email came in, right? Because I had the, the email trigger set up too. So uh, we're getting the alert multiple times here, which is great. 
Um, if you haven't used the Meraki app lately, I highly recommend tinkering with it. If you're a Meraki admin, um, you need this thing. Like it, it's come a long way recently. It is really, really rad. So other than the temp sensor, we do have two other sensors that have come out as well. The MT-12, which is a water leak detection sensor, and the MT-20, the uh, door open, door close sensor. Um, using that same use case of data centers or network closets, uh, I'm sure you can see the value in these as well, right? I may want to get an email when somebody's walking into my network closet. And uh, if there's water it, you know, on the floor in my network closet, I definitely want to know about it uh, before it affects my gear. So lots of really cool use cases with this. Um, I think this thing is awesome. Everybody should rush out and get some. Um, if you have any questions on the MT-10 or any other Meraki products, um, definitely reach out. We'll see you next time.